Hello. I'm going to be talking to you today about how to interpret a regression model, a linear regression model, when you have an interaction term in it. It is one of the most feared, misunderstood, and most a common source of mistakes in an econometrics class. So let's clear up what we can. I'm going to try to move quickly because I think this might be a video that you come back and watch again when the time comes. So let's start by having a regression with an interaction term in it. Uh, so let's do a simple one. We're going to regress income on age, uh, your white collar status, whether you are a white collar or blue collar worker, the interaction between those two things, and we're also going to have some control variables, A and B. And let's say that we've estimated that model and we've gotten some coefficients. So income is uh, uh, equal to four plus three times age plus two times white collar plus one times age times white collar plus 0.5 times A plus 0.25 times B. So our coefficient on age is three, our coefficient on white collar is two, our coefficient on the interaction term is one, and the coefficient on the other stuff is, it doesn't matter, let's get rid of it. Uh, we need to remember that we've controlled for these things when we are interpreting the model, but for interpreting the interaction term directly, it's not going to be our focal point. So let's forget it, toss it out, we just have our four terms, intercept the coefficient on the two variables by themselves, and the coefficient on the interaction term, and we are ready to go. So what can we do with this interaction model? There's two main ways that you might want to use use a model with an interaction term. Uh, one of them is to do what I call predict and compare. I want to answer a question like, how much more does a 30-year-old white-collar worker earn than a 30-year-old blue-collar worker? Okay, that is what I want to do. And when this is the kind of question that you have, all that you have to do is treat it like any other regression model that you possibly could have and just plug in the values that you want to predict with. That's all that you have to do. Just plug in values. So I want to know how much more a 30-year-old white worker, white collar uh, worker earns than a 30-year-old blue collar worker. I just plug in values. How much does a 30-year-old white collar worker earn? I plug in the age of 30 and I plug in the white collar value of one. So uh, what happens there? Well, I have my four intercept that stays there. Uh, three times age, age is 30. Uh, two times white collar, white collar is one. Uh, and then one times age times white collar, that is one times age of 30 times white collar of one. I add all those things up. I get four plus 90 plus two plus 30 is 126. So forgetting all the other terms in the model, the A's and the B's, uh, my prediction for a 30-year-old white collar worker is 126 in income in whatever units I happen to have used here. But I want to compare that to the 30-year-old blue collar worker. Okay, so I just plug in different values. So still have the intercept of four, that's still there. Uh, three times age, still 30, three times 30. Two times white collar. Now we're not white collar anymore, we are blue collar. So white collar is zero, so that term drops out. One times age times white collar, that is one times 30 times zero. That's gone too. So all we have for this blue collar worker that's 30 years old is four, the intercept, plus three times age. Uh, just three times 30 for 94. So we've predicted 126 for our white collar worker, 94 for our uh, blue collar worker, subtract the two, and we would say that a 30 year old white collar worker earns uh, uh, 32 more than a 30 year old blue collar worker. All that I did was write out the equation and plug in the values. That's all that I had to do. Writing out the equation when you have an interaction term is a good idea because all that you're really going to be doing when you're working with these models is plugging in the appropriate values to figure out what's going on. To see that again, let's use the other approach that we might take when we have a model with an interaction term with it. Let's say we want to understand the effect of one variable. So we want to answer a question like, what is the effect of age? As age increases by one unit, how does income change? Well, all we have to do to figure that out is ask, when age changes by one unit, how much does income change? Uh, so we can do that from looking at our regression equation, which we wrote out very nicely, and that's going to help us figure this out. What is the effect of age on income? Well, all we got to do is take the derivative of income with respect to age. Or if you don't know uh, calculus, you just gather up all the terms uh, that have age in them and drop the age from them. Uh, and as long as there's no squares or anything like that in your model, that will work out the exact same way. So what are the terms that have age in them in this equation? Well, we have three times age, and we have one times age times white collar. We can ignore everything else. If we're only interested in the effect of age, these are the only terms that matter. And the effect of age is those terms together drop the age. Now we just have three plus one times white collar. That is the effect of a one unit change in age. When age goes up by one unit, your income goes up by three plus one times white collar. Right. That is the effect of age. Now that's not a single number yet because we don't know what value white collar takes. Then, just like before, we plug in. Uh, if we want to know the effect of age on income for a white collar worker, uh, then we plug in a value of one for white collar. 
So a white collar worker, if their age increases by one, then their income increases by three plus one times white collar. White collar is one, so that's three plus one is four. A one unit increase in age will increase a white collar worker's income by four. Uh, now for a blue collar worker. The effect of a blue collar worker's age on their income is three plus one times white collar. White collar is zero. That term goes away. We're just left with the three, uh, which is also the coefficient on age itself. Uh, if the value of the other variable is zero, in this case, the value of white collar is zero for a blue collar worker, then the coefficient on the age itself is the effect of age, right? Uh, so the effect of age for a blue collar worker is three, which is just the coefficient on age. Uh, the effect of uh, uh, age for a white collar worker is three plus the intercept or the interaction term one uh, times age times white collar. So four. Uh, and so the difference between them is four minus three or one, uh, which is also the interaction term itself. That's what the interaction term is. It is the difference in the effect of one variable when the other variable changes by one unit. So white collar went from zero to one. It changed by one unit and the effect of age changed by the value of the interaction term, which here happens to be one. That is how you interpret a model with an inter interaction term in it, when you've got a linear regression with an interaction term. Uh, and uh, hopefully that helps you out. Just write out your equation, plug things in. Uh, and if once you do that, it works pretty much like a regular regression does. Thank you.